Welcome to the Greatness Together podcast. Curious minds unite. Mother-daughter conversations that delve into the heart of psychology. Thanks for joining us. What are we talking about today, Simone? Comparison. We love it. We hate it. We all do it. No, I actually don't want to talk about it. Okay, episode's over. Okay, we probably need to because it's so pervasive. What does pervasive mean? Pervasive. It's so common. It just happens everywhere. Yeah. It happens all the time. Even it though ha- we might not know. Yeah. Or no, I might not want to accept it. The fact. Yeah. It's human nature. It is. I wonder why though. Like, why is it that we can feel so confident in a certain situation? And then all of a sudden we see like the perfect ideal, you know, you walk in to your class and you're the yogi. Okay. The yogi. We went to a hot yoga class and yesterday, yesterday, you know, I've been like working out and stuff and I've been like stretching and I'm like, I got this. I'm going to, I'm going to show everyone in how the yoga it's done. Class. But then I have yoga Miss Yogenstein beside me. She, yeah, was, she like, was very bendy. Yeah. And she was kind of doing her own class. Hold on. You re- you're recalling it. <laughs> you're recalling it. Yeah. And it's it's like, that is so common, right? Because you will go into an environment and you'll think, I'm good. This is great. And then when you conjure it up, it's like you re-experience all of the emotions that happened. Mm -hmm. And to be the bendiest one in the yoga class, isn't that important? Probably if you went into that class, you wouldn't be thinking like, you probably weren't like, I'm going to show them. I mean, (laughs) were you? I mean, I mean, no, Mm, no. Mm, I think you were going to. I know that I can't show them. You've been on your yoga grind. I know, but you know what? The funny thing is I don't actually see. This is actually probably an important insight about comparison is I don't see myself as likely ever being the best yogi in the room. I tend to not be particularly Zen and calm in my mind. I'm not very flexible. I am doing it to have good exercise to stretch my body and to clear my mind. Mm -hmm. So I go in without thinking. I actually, I don't have high expectations. And we talked about high expectations recently in Mm -hmm. our podcast. I actually don't have very high expectations. So I didn't actually think I would be very good, but you though, you were in gymnastics, competitive gymnastics for years. You're young, you're flexible. So no wonder you noticed you're literally right beside her. But no wonder you had more of a sense of comparison to her. Because I didn't ever think that I would be as good as her. Yeah. Well, can't compare your start to someone's middle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you always say. Yeah. We always talk about this. And I, it's not my quote. I can't really remember uh, who said it. Um, <laughs> my grandpa. Maybe. I don't know. It's, I think it's, I think it's probably a professional speaker. I catch all of my uh, cool right. quotes there from dead psychiatrists, psychologists oh. and uh, professional speakers, the alive ones. Um, but uh I, yeah, you're right. I'm always telling you guys, like, if you find yourself in a comparison, not measuring up kind of loop, I'll say, you're right. Never compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking like, oh, I'll never have a house like this, or how did you guys stay married for 25 years or something? I'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like that's, you're just at the beginning of things. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what it took them to get there. Could be fortune or could not just be luck. Yes. Or fortune. Yeah. Learn more about that in the luck and fortune podcast episode. All that is the Mm -hmm. It's so true, right? When you um when you're in that comparison cycle, you're not actually thinking about what fortune that person needed to to put in place to be able to make that happen Mm -hmm. so that yogi beside you she could be a professional dancer 
And she spent her entire childhood and all of her teenage years in a in a ballet studio, missing out on all the things that you didn't have to miss out on because she was trying to become a professional ballerina. And maybe, actually, I think she might be a ballerina now that I think about I it. Know, she seems so like ballerina shaskness. Yeah. Like wearing the yeah. ballerina leotard yeah. and, you know, the type of how she carries herself. Yeah. So she may be thinking, sure, in this environment, I feel very comfortable. But what if she then went into a ballet studio with other people her age or younger and maybe professional dancers and think, wow, or comparing herself mm -hmm. to her younger self mm -hmm. and think, I am not good at this. Yeah, I feel like comparisons kind of go both ways sometimes like they never think they're perfect they're always comparing themselves to someone else so they're not completely happy like you're probably imagining them in their mind to be in like you're making up the story of them in their mind yes yeah they ain't perfect well and maybe it's that we are stuck in the story of our own mind so we don't even, our comparison, maybe part of the issue is we're so in our own head that we're not putting in reality and mm -hmm. thinking, hmm, she's really flexible. I wonder if, I wonder she's a, she was a professional dancer and that's it. Like there's no self-judgment or, and maybe that's what it is, is that comparison is this, it, it's, it's criticizing and, and it's this almost like you're trying, you want to fit in into the yoga community, but you also want to stand out and, and not be embarrassed and to, to look good. So it's, maybe it's like where you're at in that feeling like you fit in to needing to stand out where you're at is how much that comparison shows up and how negative it might be and internally negative. Yeah. 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 I feel like we really make up like stories of people in our head when it could be like completely wrong just because that's how, I don't know, that's maybe how we want ourselves to be. Like we see ourselves through other people mm -hmm. kind of, but I don't know. Could be. So is it almost like maybe comparison is filtering how you think other people are seeing you as opposed to also reality testing what is truly, so what is going on in your head seems like it's just within, but actually it's about how you're making assumptions mm -hmm. other people are experiencing you. Indeed so. Wow. Light bulb. Light bulb. So maybe that lady in the yoga studio is thinking that you beside her, she's thinking, wow, she's so much younger than me. She's, you know, she was able to rock that bridge pose. You did a killer mm -hmm. full, full wheel, not just bridge, full wheel, full wheels. It's it. gymnastics background. Yes, you know? it is. It's good for something. <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> so she's, maybe she was thinking, oh, she's younger, she's fitter. She's, you know, she's able to do some of those poses. I really wish... Isn't that funny how maybe you and her were thinking the other one was better because, and you don't know, because it's just going on in our heads. Indeed so. Yeah. So how do we stop that loop? I guess, you know, I, I love the word you use story. What have you used? Because of course we talk a lot about how we have comparison constantly, right? With social media. And can I tell you the biggest thing that annoys me? when people, what people say related to just social media. Let's hear it. It's the word seems. It seems like yeah. you're having fun. It seems like. I hate it. It's like, it's almost their comparison projecting onto you that you couldn't possibly have enjoyed your vacation or you couldn't possibly have. I might be making too much out of it, but. No, it's true. Like social media is so fake these days. You just compare yourselves to these or a second videos you see online mm -hmm. and it's like oh my life compared to this eh. but in reality when they hit stop on the video they're like crying or something I don't know mm -hmm. and and because a lot of it is very fake 
I think a lot of people assume that real people doing real things must be a bit fake too. So that's, that's perhaps part of the negative that how we need to recognize that it's all a story. And yes, some things may be fictitiously created or maybe Instagram filtered or whatever, but also people, there are people are out there who are enjoying things or trying new hobbies and it's, but that's their, what they're doing. That's their journey. Yeah. That's their thing. And if you find yourself comparing and you think, oh, well, I like the fact that they're going skiing. Oh, they seem to be, seem to be having fun skiing. Well, why not? If you have it within your means, book a ski trip. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to be like, oh, you know? Yeah. It's always like, you kind of think that you can't ever have what they what they have and stuff but mm -hmm. it's completely different um means like you're saying different circumstances different so, humans and different people and like it's all it's all different you'll never be able to be someone else and you're unique in your own way yeah that's quote quotable quotable <laughs> and maybe you don't actually want it so if you see somebody i don't know why i keep thinking of this skiing because mm -hmm. there's like we're filming this video in winter and there's basically no snow on the ground even though it's supposed to be yeah yeah anyway so I'm just thinking of skiing obviously today but if I were if I looked at something at, on uh, that somebody posted I'm like wow they really seem to be good skiers and they really like it and again if I'm saying seem it probably means that I'm questioning are they really a good skier are they really having a good time as as opposed to they're good skiers I'm just going to take it at face value. They seem to go skiing a lot. They post a lot of pictures. They seem, it's not seem, they no doubt are. Mm -hmm. And if I look at that and I notice I'm paying attention to it a lot and I think, wow, what would it be like to be a good skier? Really, that's, then I, I have to say to myself, well, do I want to be a good skier? Mm -hmm. Do I want to start learning how to ski? Is this important to me? And I think if we ask ourselves that question, sometimes it part of the comparison, it will reveal that the reason why you keep noticing it and it goes through this loop is because you actually really want it. So now you're accountable for going after it. And other things you may think, why do I keep noticing and thinking about them being a skier? I don't actually want to learn how to ski. I don't really care about skiing or I live in Arizona. And so there's nowhere to ski. Mm hmm. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I think that part of what is behind comparison is A, you have to decide first step, does this really matter? Do I really want this or not? And if you do, then the next step is, so I need to take accountability and responsibility for going after what I want and need, as opposed to making it all external if I want it. So if you're looking at that Bendy Yogi and you think, she's amazing. Then you say, does that really matter to me? You actually didn't even really enjoy the hot yoga class. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a fit. So now it's like, well, she's, I don't even need to. Mm -hmm. And, and then it, but let's say you did, then you're like, well, I guess I'm going to need to go to yoga more often. Yeah. Yeah. Not for me. I'm, I'm going to, you know, keep to my weekly stretches and that's good. Yeah. Without the heat without the heat mm -hmm. you don't feel like you need to do stretching so that feels like you're on the sun you're no stretching on the sun no I like stretching sweatless <laughs> sweatless yes yeah. yeah where all of the moisture on the inside of your body leaves and it's on mm -hmm. the outside of your body mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. I don't really want to chug water at 11 o'clock at night before the lesson yes. or stretching or whatever I'm comparing yeah. it to right now yes yeah yeah, yeah. sure so I think that that's a, a helpful place to leave, folks, is the next time that you catch yourself, because it's very automatic, mm -hmm. the next time you catch yourself, know that it's normal mm -hmm. and ask yourself, does this matter to me? And if it matters to you, what you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? Is that, do you think that that would be helpful advice for people in your generation? Oh, yeah. Especially with social media and all the comparisons there. That's very, very mm. useful. I'll keep that in my pocket. Or what is it? Pack, 
keep it in my back pocket. I have, I have a third layer then I want to offer. Mm -hmm. Is that, so is that important to you? What responsibility do you have? And perhaps the third one is if you pursued that responsibility, would you be proud of yourself? Mm -hmm. Because what if, let's say you're looking at people looking more beautiful. Yeah. Does that matter to me? Yes. Okay, great. What are you going to do about it? Maybe you're going to learn like YouTube tutorials or what have you. <laughs> That's probably aging myself, but anyway, <laughs> dating myself. So let's say you start and then would, and now you show up with so much fancier makeup online. Would you be truly proud of yourself? And maybe, That's a good like, one. maybe you would. It's juicy. But imagine if you went down that whole thing and you're like, yes, I'm going to take responsibility for it. I'm going to work hard at it. Would you be really proud of yourself and be say, I'm so glad I spent all of my effort and my energy there. I like that. Cause that gives you permission to say it matters to me. I'm going to take responsibility for it, but just because it matters to me and I could take responsibility doesn't mean I have to act on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you say that's Everyone. freeing? Yeah. It's amazing. That's, that's really good. Yeah. It's like a bird, like a bird, like a, Turkey vulture. Like a turkey vulture. And that's really where we want to leave people in our podcast to feel as grounded as a turkey vulture. Um, but not very grounded. No. Oh, they do fly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of opposite of that. Okay. Well, we'll leave hopefully we will leave folks with an opportunity to think about comparison the next time they find themselves comparing. The next time we find ourselves comparing mm -hmm. think of our three thingies three thingies three thingies three 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 tips do you remember what they are i'm sorry i was just gonna say i forgot them <laughs> <laughs> that's good for recapping <laughs> yeah uh, let me see if i remember them um because they came up by the way listeners they came up organically we did we do always do our prep ahead of time mm -hmm. but then we also explore as we're talking the third is would you be proud yes so the first one, and that was like a bonus one. I'm mm -hmm. so glad that you remembered that. That might be the recency effect. You mm -hmm. remember more easily the last thing that happened. So there you go. Memory, mm -hmm. memory concept. Come back to a future episode. So number one, does it matter to me? Number two, how will I take responsibility for it? And number three, will I be proud of myself if I take responsibility and take action on that thing? What do you think? That's juicy. Juicy. That's right above. Hashtag juicy. <laughs> yeah. Always, always. Listeners, you may not be seeing. I'm making a hashtag with my fingers. And that is cool as a not Simone. You are cool as a cucumber. I'm, I'm wheeling. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Bye, Bye. humans. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for the Greatness Together podcast. Never miss an episode. Subscribe wherever you catch your podcasts. Yours in greatness, Simone and Sarah.